Well, as various school districts begin the slow roll into the new school year, one local district is getting heavy criticism from its teachers union. They're accusing Lance Cruz schools of using arm twisting tactics to push an in person learning agenda, even going so far as to say that the school board is giving short shrift to virtual learners. Paula Tutman has more on that complaint and the response from parents. The Lance Cruz Teachers Union is at odds with its board, basically because it is said that if teachers can't find a comfort level with in-person teaching, they can leave, basically taking a leave of absence. And they are defending that decision. When you have 70% of your community that wants to go back face to face, I think it would be disingenuous of us to not give them that option. And when I have 578 teachers as a whole, and I only have a couple who are experiencing this this discomfort, it, it's more so looking at what would be better as, as a whole to service our community, to service our students. For parents like Rihanna, whose children did not do well with remote learning, she is grateful for the in-person option in the Land Cruise District. My oldest son admits that he just doesn't learn the same, as well as he, I could not keep him awake. I would literally walk away from the table and he, I'd come back and he's falling asleep. And at one point, he took the whole computer to his bed and laid down with it. And I was like, you thought that was a good idea? But for parents like Jenna, whose husband survived COVID-19, in-person learning is not an option. We can't guarantee what other precautions other families are taking. And I felt safer knowing what exactly she's exposed to with her staying home. The district has a heavy emphasis on face-to-face -face learning. And according to teachers and the teachers union, didn't even start considering a remote or virtual option until August 1st, too late to do a district program. And so Lance Cruz is using a system called Edmentum. We're not teaching face-to-face -face in the virtual, for the virtual um, program. Um, we are not um, having them attend class. They're gonna be going in, logging into the program. There's tutorials, videos, assignments, assessments. At the end of our day, we have 45 minutes that's designated to uh, help those virtual kids. We restructured part of our teacher's day without extending it to allow daily contact between the Lance Cruz teachers and the virtual learners. Parents and some teachers alike are concerned that the virtual option is an aside or placeholder instead of an actual attempt to really teach students. It's not teaching. I don't think the virtual option is much of an option at all because it's a pre-canned curriculum that's not being taught by a teacher. Here, we're just going to preload all your assignments and we'll check in with you once a week. Something the school board vehemently denies. Paula Tutman, Local 4.